Hello! Our life is a collection of stories, but many of them stay untold, because we don't want to be boring. So we only share the exciting stuff. Sounds reasonable, but only because you share your most exciting story, that doesn't mean that it is a well-told story. I'm sure you suffered through your fair share of boring stories too. Boring not because of the content, but because of the way it was told. Instead of just telling you a story today, I will share with you a way to tell your stories interestingly, so people want to hear them, even if the experience the story is based on was lame. Right after this. Everything starts in your normal life world. My story starts with me running this morning. After that, nothing was normal anymore. I was so bone tired, I couldn't really do anything anymore. In our story, that is what we call a crisis. It is a time in the story the hero has no control, no matter what he does. It won't change the outcome. I even had an after lunch nap for almost a full hour. And I was still tired. I lost all my hope that I would find my strength ever again. After the crisis, the hero is at a place of no hope. The abyss. He can't help himself anymore. And it is also the right moment for our mentor. The mentor gives us a hint for the solution to work our way out of the abyss. I asked my wife what to do. And then uh, I took my nap, my little nap, it lasted for a full hour and I'm still so tired, so bone tired. What can I do? Well, the problem is, dear Kai, you're always eating sandwich toast. Why not buy proper real bread from the bakery? That's a solution. I took my bike and went to my favorite bakery. and fetch the bread. My wife suggested that the cause of my misery was the wrong kind of bread, so the solution would be to eat the bread and I would feel good again. Instead, I felt better from my bike ride. All tiredness is gone. Does that mean the dramatization does not add up? It is possible that the mentor just chose the right direction to the hero. The advice might be wrong, but the direction helps and the solution materializes on the way. What it does in my story. The scene after the mentor's suggestion is called the rise and its job is to show that the solution works. Though my solution is different than the mentor's original idea, it works. I feel good again when I enter my normal world, which is editing my script for this video. See you tomorrow. Disclaimer at the end. Obviously, the story is totally over-exaggerated and my wife would never suggest to eat bread or carbohydrates to feel better. She knows it better because she is very much into this health stuff. 
but she was a good sport on this, being an extra in my short film. And uh, she just played her role and said her text. So thank you very much, Amanda. It is very much appreciated.